What went wrong? Cops broke up a child's baptism party for excessive noise and in the process managed to taser a grandfather and a pregnant woman. Tonight, a Manassas family says cops went too far. Fox Rise, Robbie Chavez, live down in the newsroom to kick us off now. Robbie? Brian, the 55-year-old homeowner is a church family counselor and a Bible study teacher. He was hosting a party for his new godchild. He and the pregnant mother of the baptized boys face serious charges. Tonight, they're fighting back. They say Prince William County Police used excessive force just to quiet down a backyard party. <laughs> It was supposed to be a happy day to celebrate the baptism of these two little boys. This home video captures the party moments before police arrive following a noise complaint. Edgar Rodriguez says the backyard celebration came to an abrupt halt. After some confusion, his 55-year-old father says he was asked for an ID and handed it over. Then he was tasered three times. He took out his wallet and he gave his wallet to his wife. And at the point when he lifted up his, his license, that's when he started feeling the electrical shocks in his back. All of a sudden, he got tased in the back. And then again, on this side at the same time, and then there was an officer in front of him that tased him from the front. So my dad was not under arrest. We never heard anybody say, sir, you're under arrest. Prince William County Police issued a statement confirming two people were tasered at the baptism party. A spokesman says, quote, the officers contacted the homeowner who was highly intoxicated. The officer, she says, explained the noise ordinance to the homeowner who refused several requests to turn down the loud music. The spokesman goes on to say Rodriguez began to act disorderly and refused to identify himself to officers. The home videotape captures some moments as Rodriguez was tasered three times, then charged with public intoxication in his own backyard. The pregnant mother of the baptized boys was tasered too. The family says the woman tried to help Rodriguez, who was on the ground. She was charged with assaulting a police officer. He tased her in the back. So she didn't assault an officer. She was assaulted by an officer. The family calls it excessive force, and they say all of it happened in front of a yard full of children. When they came in, you know, they were in, in a defensive mode, like if we were criminals. I mean, everybody felt like that's how we got treated, like if we were just all of a sudden criminals for celebrating a child's baptism. The pregnant woman remains in custody tonight, separated from her family. After her arrest, she was detained by Immigration and Customs Enforcement. After hearing about the incident, however, the police chief in Prince William County has ordered an internal affairs investigation, Brian. And we will stay on top of it. Robbie Chavez live in the newsroom.